Hi, Les from Retired and Living the Dream and today's video is like the thumbnail Skin Canter Now this is a, an important video I'm just going to take me flip flops off because I'm on the beach I've come down for a walk along the beach So we're going to talk about skin cancer today um, As I say on, on the thumbnail was it skin cancer or was it not? Now I'll tell you the results of my tests later on in the video but what it was is my mother had skin cancer she had it on her legs and she had one or two on, on her face now what happened because I do YouTube I noticed on a couple of my videos that this I had a little little growth on the side of my head and over the past year it, it got bigger and it was about the size of a half a raisin so so that was a little bit concerning because as I say my mother had skin cancer and I had a, another little lump on my arm and my wife said I had a little lump on my back that had grown bigger than last, last year, two years so we just come back up for holiday and I live in Thailand now and because I live in Thailand I'm exposed to the sun virtually every day now I always wear a shirt, half sleeve so my arms and my legs and my face is always exposed to the sun now it's a, it's a fact that the Thai people don't suffer from um, skin cancer so they don't have the expertise in their doctors for diagnosing skin cancer and things like that so basically if you went to the normal public hospital they would redirect you to a, a skin specialist because they don't have the expertise like they do in Australia or America or even like the UK so I went straight away to the Bangkok hospital in um, Rayong to get them to check it now I'm going to go through the the costs of, of all of this lot as well and again like I say I'll explain the results so that's just a little bit of history why I went to the Bangkok Rayong hospital because of their expertise and as it's the best hospital in Thailand the Bangkok hospitals you pay a premium to go in there now I do have medical insurance but um, I don't have outpatients and that's where it was, it was an outpatient visit. So the diagnosis wasn't covered by my insurance. But the reason for such high prices in the Bangkok Rayong Hospital is because of the sheer quality. Now I'm going to put some photographs up of my little visit to the hospital and I'll go along with putting some prices up as well. But unlike our NHS hospitals in uh, the UK, all the seats are like leather seats proper comfortable leather seats not the plastic seats you get to sit on in the waiting room the staff are immaculately dressed the, the counter staff but you pay for this you pay for every single little thing you pay for people to greet you in the Bangkok hospital you pay for the nurse that takes you from point A to point B you pay the doctor fee, you pay the anything that they actually use. So there's a cost involved in that, but you get the specialist, you get the proper doctors, and that's what I wanted. And when I had the, the diagnosis with, with the doctor, the doctor looked at and he, he sort of assured me, he says, I don't think it is cancer. Well, I didn't like that word, I don't think. I wanted to know 100%. So that's what I said to him. I said, I want to know 100%. He said, well, there's a couple of things we can do. He said, we can either laser them off. He said, I'm almost sure it isn't cancer. I said to him again, I said, well, I want to be 100% sure. So he said, the only way of doing that is to actually cut the lumps off and send them away for biopsy, which would obviously cost a little bit more. And I said, that's what I want. I said, I want to be 100% certain, not 80%, I'm sure, but 100% certain. So I opted for the biopsy, and he did it there and then. I just went back into the waiting room for 10 minutes, and then uh, come back into the, the um, examination room, and he did the little procedure, which was totally and utterly painless. He'd give the injection, and then um, that numbed everything and then he did it just cut the shavings of skin off and then after doing that 
he um, he sent them away for biopsy, and he said he'll get the results of the biopsy in a, in a week or so. So the cost of that was seven thousand five hundred baht, and we were in and out of the hospital in a little under three hours. And then he, he sent me a an email and a phone call a week later saying that the results are in come back to the hospital and he'll, he'll explain the results so a week later off we went to the hospital we had a time to and we logged in and checked in and everything as you do when you go to the hospital and then when i went to see him he says the results are 100 percent negative so he said you haven't got skin cancer he says the biopsies come back 100% clear so therefore you've got nothing to worry about which was obviously good news for me and that the lumps have been removed as well off my face now he said they may grow back he said they may grow back but he said it isn't skin cancer so don't worry about it so the, the cost of actually for him to tell me what the the results were doctor visit 300 baht for the nurse to take me to the doctor and back 200 baht and 12 baht for a pair of rubber gloves so 512 baht so the total cost and peace of mind 100% peace of mind that I know I didn't have skin cancer was 8,012 baht so for all those people who were worried about the costs of going to the private hospital and getting looked at I was also worried. I was expecting to pay maybe ten or fifteen thousand baht for, for everything. So eight thousand and twelve baht. I was happy with the price, and more than happy with the result. That peace of mind, everything seems to be okay. So that's my little vlog on skin cancer. I hope you found it informative, and don't be scared to go and see the doctors and get it sorted, because uh, an earlier intervention is better than letting it grow and grow